Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the essential oil of galbanum. Essential oils are gifted to us from all different parts of a tree or a plant. We can get them from the wood, the bark, the root, the flower, the leaves. We can get them from the fruits, the berries, the seeds, and also the resins. And galbanum is actually a resin essential oil. Now, normally when we think of resin essential oils, we think of large trees, maybe frankincense, myrrh, or copaiba, where incisions are made in the tree, and then we get the resin out. However, galbanum is slightly different. It's not a big, massive tree, but actually a small plant that's a part of the carrot family. Now, probably the best analogy I could give you that you might be more familiar with is if you've ever taken a dandelion stalk and broken it open and there's a milk in the side. Well, galbanum is very similar to that. It's a small plant, it's native to Iran and Iraq, and it has these beautiful sprays of almost yellow flowers, and it almost looks like a little umbrella. But it is this resin that has been used for thousands of years for a whole range of different things. It's been used by the Greeks, the Romans, the ancient Egyptians, for physical reasons as well as metaphysical reasons. When we steam distill this resin, we get an amazing essential oil that has a unique kind of earthy, but also green aroma. It has so many benefits, and that's what we're gonna explore in this video, how you can use galbanum for the benefit of your body, your mind, and your spirit. Galbanum has a few different uses when using it for the body. Now, I've got a few female friends who find mixing galbanum essential oil with the carrier oil, like fractionated coconut oil, and rubbing it over the abdomen has helped to regulate their menstrual cycle and help with any kind of different issues that they have with their menstrual cycle. They can also at night rub that on the soles of their feet. Sorry, I'm gonna be doing the Australian wave today. There's a few flies around. <laughs> um, now, the other way I love to use it is I really find it's great for skincare. And I just grab one drop of galbanum and I'll rub that into my face. And that can be really um, nice. It's great for oily skin, especially. And especially as we get older, if your skin is getting a bit more mature or if you're getting scars, then galbanum does have a reputation for helping to even out skin tone and give you a more youthful um, appearance as well. Now, one of the great things, galbanum is a really kind of deep metaphysical oil. We're going to delve into that later in the video. But sometimes we can store different traumatic things that happen in our face. And, you know, they often say that the, the, the lines that form in our face are kind of from a hard life and that type of thing. Galbanum actually not only physically helps with our face in that way, but metaphysically can help us to release any pain in our face that's kind of held in there or any hurt or suffering or that type of thing. So if you're kind of you know, got worry lines or frown lines or different things like that, galbanum can actually help to release the emotionality behind that. In fact, galbanum is a great essential oil to work with whenever you've got long-standing health issues and you can't find a solution for them. A lot of the time, there is a link between mental and emotional well-being and, and pain and suffering from the past and how that will eventually manifest in the physical. If you're struggling to find a link in, in one of these types of things and you can't work out why you're having a health problem, then work with galbanum and it can help you to unearth the different issues that might be the root cause of what's giving you grief. On an everyday basis, galbanum is a really quite calming and grounding essential oil. Popping a drop in your hands, popping it in your diffuser and diffusing it around the space will really help to ground you and settle you. But galbanum is a really great unearthing oil to really help bring out some deeper emotional and mental issues that are kind of plaguing you quite a lot. Galbanum's gift is unearthing. It helps you go digging into what the truth really is. When you're looking for the answers for a solution, work with galbanum. It can help you to understand a situation that maybe in the past has been a cause of pain or suffering for you. It'll allow you to see who um, who played what roles, to understand that everyone that was in a situation played a different role and was an active player in that, and also to help you maybe to take a bit more responsibility for your reactions to that situation. By taking responsibility, it empowers you to go, okay, well, I chose to feel this way, and so that's I'm the re reason I'm holding on that pain because of my reaction, and maybe even shift that. Another great thing about galbanum is how do you feel when you make a mistake? Do you try and hide it or feel embarrassed or do you embrace the mistake? When you listen to a lot of successful people, they'll talk about mistakes and going, well, if I didn't make mistakes, I wouldn't be where I am today. Galbanum actually helps us to look at our need to look perfect, to never make a mistake, and to kind of portray this life of perfection and everything is going fine. 
It actually helps us to dismantle anything we use to guard ourselves from making mistakes. As I said before, Galvedom helps us to realize that mistakes can actually be a blessing. They are lessons. If everything went perfectly all the time, we'd never learn anything. But when we make mistakes, we can look at them. They can give us strength. They can give us wisdom. We can make sure that we don't make them going forward. We can even pass these on to future generations. Think about where we are in today's society. A lot of mistakes have been made, but hopefully we've learned from a few of them as well. And Galvedom can really help you to do that. The other thing that Galvanum is really great for is do, how do you ever feel about being overlooked by you know, another colleague, by a sibling, or by someone else in your life, maybe even your own partner, and you feel that you always dip into the shadows? Sometimes this can cause you know, feelings of like, oh, I'm not good enough, or how dare they um, kind of have, you know, how dare they kind of hog all the limelight, and why am I being ignored and that type of thing. We each have different gifts to shine in the world, and we each have a different time to shine in the world. Galvanum actually helps you to feel comfortable with, okay, I, it's okay for someone else to be in the spotlight right now, and I don't need other people to dim their light for me to stand out. If you feel that you always need to be the center of attention, then Galvanum's gonna be an amazing essential oil for making sure that everyone does get their chance to say their bit, have their turn, be in the spotlight, and share their gifts with the world. It's a real nice kind of grounding and settling one where you just feel comfortable with what you are, who you are, and what you have to offer. And when the time is right, you'll speak up or you'll be called on or the universe will create different situations where you can shine. Galbanum is that really nourishing oil that makes you go, okay, I am who I am. I accept who I am. Everyone's not going to like me. Um, there will be times when it's my time and times when it's not. And to feel okay with that. So if your life, sometimes you feel like life's not going your way, I'd start working with Galbanum um, and really start to open your perspective of possibly, okay, well, why does it feel like it's not going my way? And how could this uh, be serving me? And how could this be serving the greater good? Galbanum has long been used for banishing exorcisms and purification, cleansing what no longer serves you. In fact, Galbanum is really good for helping to bring awareness to any treachery or malice or anything happening behind your back that you're not aware of. Now, if you ever smell Galbanum essential oil, once you're familiar with the aroma, but you don't have it around, that is often the universe warning you that something's not right and to watch your back. Now, shamanic um, uses for this oil are going into the underworld and connecting with those that are past or getting wisdom from those from other realms. So this can be a really nice essential oil to anoint yourself in or diffuse when you're doing any of that, any of that type of work. Galbanum overall has this kind of fresh green soil aroma. And to me, it's like the fresh green soil and the smell that we get after the last rain of winter going into spring. In fact, this is an amazing essential oil to use around the spring equinox when we're looking at birthing new things into our lives. In fact, Galbanum will help with personal transformation. And any time that you feel that you're ready to transform to metamorphosis in some way, start working with Galbanum. As I've talked about already, it's going to help you see the truth. It's going to help you get a really clear perspective. It's going to banish anything that's not serving you. And thus, it'll let you transform into new mindsets new attitudes, new paradigms, and new ways of being. This is a very transformative oil. But before we can transform, we must learn from our mistakes of the past, and we must see the truth. Otherwise, we're going to go ignorantly into the future. Galbadum will support you with that. Galbadum essential oil is amazing for the base chakra. Our base chakra, of course, is that red energy center that's located around the base of our spine and it's connected to our nervous system, our fight or flight, and our adrenals. So when we've been through something that's not right, that's caused some kind of pain or suffering, often that can be due to how we've approached it and how you know we've mentally reacted to it and also how we've emotionally reacted to it. By working with Galbanum, it's going to help you to kind of recalibrate and rejig your approach to different things. If you're feeling that you've been overlooked or that you've missed out on something, Galbanum will help to settle that down. If you feel that you've made a mistake and that you should be ashamed of yourself in, or embarrassed, Galbanum will help you see that no, that's actually a blessing because that's going to give you strength and wisdom in the future. Any of these different problems, as we can start to settle them down, we start to feel less on edge, that we need to present this perfect life out to the world or anything like that, and just feel comfortable how everything's doing. 
So when you're feeling ungrounded, galbanum's gonna be really good for bringing in some energy into that base chakra, help you feel safe and secure. Life is an ever-changing, dynamic kind of um, event, and nothing is ever the same. Things will, that were once working for us will suddenly stop working for us, and we'll be kind of lost in different situations. Galvanum's gonna help you ground and go, hey, it's okay. These changes are gonna happen, and you're going to be able to shine in different ways at different times and it'll help you to feel really comfortable with that. So when you feel that you're feeling unsettled because of emotional or mental reasons, Galbanum will drag you back down, help you to find the greater truth and the greater advantage to what's been happening and what has happened, and help you to feel more safe, secure, and able to move into the future, grounded, strong, and empowered. Galbanum has this amazing aroma, as I've been talking about before. Earthy, yet green. Oh, can't wait for you to smell it if you haven't already. Now, you can use it by itself, but you can also make some really great blends with it. So let's look at some blends of what we've been talking about today. So we're talking about menstrual issues, and I know women will sometimes mix Galbanum with oils such as clary sage and fennel. Fennel's really good, I find, if I start getting any cramps, it's really good, and, and I've had female friends say, if menstrual cramps, fennel works really well as well. And making some blends and rubbing that on the abdomen at different times during the cycle can be really helpful. Now for the skin, what I find is floral oils really help with the top layer of the skin, and then resin oils or wood oils will really help with the deep layer of the skin. So we've got galbanum, which is a resinous oil. So combining it with a floral oil, so this could be rose, it could be jasmine, Roman chamomile, blue tansy, yarrow, heliochrysum are some of my favorites. One drop of each in my hand with my night moisturizer, rub that all over my face, and you're nourishing all the skin as well. A really great combo blend. Now on those deeper levels, how do we get down to the truth of who we are and be a bit more authentic? Well, mixing galbanum with copaiba and a pepper, probably black pepper or possibly pink pepper, can really be a, it's gonna be a really kind of powerful meditation blend to really help you discover who you truly are and to feel empowered in who you are as well. You can also mix galbanum with beautiful floral oils, not just for our skin, but for around the spring equinox. So celebrate that time of new beginnings and new births and going forward with new anticipation. Try mixing galbanum with geranium, rose, Roman chamomile, ylang-ylang, kananga, or any other flower that kind of has that joyous energy for you. Even pop in a fruit like a wild orange or even a green mandarin about that anticipation for what's to come. Now, if you've made an amazing blend with galbanum, I'd love to hear about it. Please share it in the comment section below. We can all give it a try and learn from each other. When you're working with galbanum essential oil, you can bring in other blessings or other gifts of nature to help enhance whatever you're doing. Now, I love working with crystals, and there's a couple of crystals that I reach for when I'm working with my galbanum essential oil. The first one, well, it's not actually a crystal, it's volcanic glass, it's obsidian. Black obsidian can be absolutely amazing. The other one is a bit of a rare crystal called Silomaline, also known as Black Merlinite. So this one's gonna be a little bit harder to find, but it has real mystical energy. And what, like we were talking about before, Galbanum has this real shamanic energy, or this real kind of unveiling the truth, and this is exactly what Black Merlinite helps you to do. Now, when we think about this Black Obsidian, what is Black Obsidian? It comes from a volcano, so it holds that kind of volcanic energy. So we've been talking a lot about unearthing and finding the truth and getting to the truth of things and bringing out a, an authentic version of ourselves. Like a volcano, it has that power within itself and it, this helps us to find the power within ourselves and then birth that out and bring that out as well. This is very much a truth-seeking crystal to help us get to the bottom of things that are hidden deep within us and deep within our lives. You can also use this to help find truth. There's a practice called scrying. Now, you've probably seen scrying when you've seen the, the Disney witch looking or fortune teller looking into a crystal ball and seeing the future. Well, we can do that by getting a bit of black obsidian, sitting under candlelight or moonlight and looking at the reflection in the uh, crystal. Allow your eyes to kind of blur and allow your conscious mind to shut up for a little while and allow inner thoughts to come, just little bits of inspiration. It takes a bit of practice, but it can be quite powerful and black obsidian is great for that. Galbanum also has a bit of connection with that rebirth and also with allowing death and facilitating death. And black obsidian can be used, because it's sharp, to cut away things that are no longer serving us. So galbanum and black obsidian work really well together. So either some good old black obsidian, or if you're a bit of a crystal connoisseur, find some black melanite or silomelene, and that can be really helpful as well. 
Now, when it comes to animals, the animal that kind of comes to me when I'm talking about um, galbanum is a moth. Now, what do you think of when you think of a moth? Well, a moth will always head towards the light, and they are very much about freedom as well. And that's what galbanum wants us to do. It wants us to shed and be really clear with what's not serving us and then head towards a better life. This is a really great oil and this is a really great animal guide to help those that are light workers, those that want to bring more light and more you know, joy and positivity to the world. Sometimes we can get stuck focusing on the negative, getting caught in what other people are doing, but moth and galbanum can help lead us in the direction of how can I use my skills and my magic to make this world a better place? And each of us will do that in a different way. Astrologically, galbanum is associated with the planet Uranus, and Uranus governs the day Wednesday along with Mercury, so Wednesday is going to be the most powerful day to work with galbanum. Of course, Uranus is associated with Aquarius. Aquarius is the sign that is about thinking outside the square and coming up with new ways to approach things. That doesn't just mean that those born under the sign of Aquarius can use it. We all can tap into that Aquarian energy of thinking outside the square, looking for a utopian future, and looking how we could do things a little bit better than we have before. Now, remember when it comes to essential oils, not all essential oils are the same. In fact, a lot of essential oils on the market will be adulterated or man-made because there is actually no legal legislation, legal legislation, there's no legislation in Europe, in North America, in Australia, New Zealand, all around the world, because essential oils come under fragrance. You can just call, put whatever you want in there. So you want to make sure you're getting a pure galbanum essential oil. You also want to make sure that ideally it's coming from that native environment where it grows in Iraq and Iran, because then it's where nature intended to be, and it's holding that vibration. If you need help finding a really reliable source of galbanum, please reach out to me, and I'm more than happy to help out with that. I'd also love to hear from you if you've got some stories about Galvin and pop them in the comment section below. While you're lingering down the bottom, if you hit that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate that as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be.